Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make bacon wrap jalapeno poppers with cream cheese. Okay, first, I'm going to get them, wash them, and cut them down the center. Okay, now, if you want them really hot, leave the seeds in. If you don't, you will have to cut out the innards and like that. More room for cream cheese or any other toppings or fillings you want to put in. Okay, basically you can leave a couple seeds like that. It's spicy, but not too spicy. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some cream cheese. You can use um, whipped cream cheese. You can use whatever you want. But I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, generic cream cheese and um, prevent food allergies or anything. Make sure your roommates are not allergic to stuff that you cross contaminate, but this is dedicated for that. So, generous, helping cream cheese. Slathered in there. Mm -mm. As you can see, some of the seeds might get in there. So you just want to be considerate, or you can just say, F it, they'll wake up in the morning. Spicy cream cheese bagel. Okay, and while you're doing this, you want to make sure your oven is preheated. So I'll put information on the screen as well. Okay. They're good, and I'm just going to use regular bacon. You can use thick cut, um, the pepper bacon is really good as well, but for this, nothing too crazy. Okay, the trick that I use is usually a thick cut we want to do is pull it to kind of make the bacon a little more elastic so you can wrap it better. What you want to do is start on the top like so, wrap, kind of pull it, it will shrink a little, pull a little more, and if you have extra, if you're on a diet, don't watch this video, but if you're on a diet, um, you can either cut this off or you can F it and just keep on wrapping, just double back with bacon, and it's good. And the cookie tray I'm going to use is a metal cookie tray with a little grate on there. So this makes it so when you cook it, you have the bacon grease kind of go down and not, it doesn't cook in its own grease. So you make sure it's crisp on the top and the bottom. So if you want to make this for people, um, it will be your new best friend forever. That's because you can't really go wrong with the bacon. Just remember, make sure the bacon is somewhat tight. For this amount, you want to, like 400 would be good. It will make them nice and crispy, bacon on the outside. And I'd say 410 will be fine. Since you're not cooking a full tray, it will take maybe, maybe 40 minutes max. You want to slow cook, you don't want to burn. So go ahead and get ready, pop them in. And you're gonna notice how the bacon is crispy on the outsides and you'll see uh, the cream cheese kind of coming out so you know they're done. Also make sure you thoroughly cook the bacon. If you're a bacon connoisseur you'll know what the, the perfect bacon is otherwise use a meat thermometer.
perfect. 